I'm going to do a video reviewing the prize fighter, so as well as a, a few other bits over the next day or two. Um, but I wanted to do a video first about Anthony Joshua's last fight against Hovor J. Uh This fight was on Thursday night on the prize fighter bill at uh, York Hall. It's now Saturday, um, a bit later, and I'd like to do a post fight video. But um, I've been struggling with a bit of a cold actually at this end, so I uh, thought I'd leave it a few days so I wasn't sounding uh, too nasal. But um, yeah. Anthony Joshua knocked out, well, I'll say knocked out, TKO'd Harvard J. Kiszczek in the second round of their fight. Um, I was quite impressed by his uh, performance. There seemed to be, you know, very, very clear signs of progression from Anthony Joshua from his uh, from his first fight, certainly. Um, I mean, looking at them in the first round, uh, there's a few things that stood out straight away. Anthony Joshua was literally so much more of a bigger man than his opponent you know this guy against him looked like a yeah a cruiserweight at best really he was so much taller so much more powerfully built just so much more of a bigger man straight away Joshua started establishing the jab seemed to have a decent speedy snappy jab got that working from the first few seconds um I think the biggest improvement that Joshua's had since his first fight is he looked very very stiff to me in his first fight very robotic you know, very. He was slightly looser. His jab was slightly more elastic, um, and uh, yeah, I really like that. His, his jab worked well. Um, as I say, he moved away from that robotic thing he'd got into with his shoulders so stiff in the first fight, and I, I was quite impressed. Um, he won the first round very, very easily. Um, after about two minutes, I thought it was going to be a first round stoppage, but Joshua sort of took his foot off the gas slightly, um, gave Kiszczek a bit more room. Um, he was very, very patient, very disciplined, very patient. He could have got him out of there in the first round, but he took his time. You know, he, he sort of worked worked it, built it up slowly and got a stoppage in the second round. So I was quite impressed by his patience. Um, he showed a bit of variety to his work. It wasn't just, you know, jab cross. He had uppercuts on the inside. He was throwing some decent digs to the body, working the body with, you know, decent shots on a number of occasions. I was... I was actually really quite impressed. I think the Anthony Joshua we saw at your call on Thursday destroys the Anthony Joshua we saw at his first fight. There's so much improvement since, uh, you know, since he's he's come on and he's in against an opponent. You know, I think he's had something like five wins, six losses. So we're not talking a world beat here, but this is a guy who took Huey Fury six round and Joshua blew him out. Really, um, guy didn't ask Anthony Joshua any questions, but I doubt you'd really expect that at this stage of his career. Um, one thing, other thing that did impress me was his killer instinct. You know, he dropped Kisicek in the second round, and when he realised the guy was on his way out, he overpowered him, got in tight, threw you know fast punches, flurries of punches, and really uh, got him out of there. You know, there was a lot of killer instinct coming from Joshua, and I was, I was very impressed by that. You know, he, he's so disciplined and patience, but when it was time to get down to, to business, he, uh, you know, he stepped it up, got him out of there, and uh, yeah, as I say, showed a bit of a mean streak. So I was quite in. Impressed by that, um, you know. Three fights in, he's beaten uh, Emmanuel L.A. Leo first round KO, Paul Butlin second round KO, Kisscheck uh, second round KO. Still hasn't lost a round. Still hasn't really been asked a serious question. His next two fights, he's against Hector Avila, who took you know Del Boy Chisora nine rounds to get him out. I think that's on the Frotz goes on the card on the twenty third. Um, then December the 14th, he's in against Dorian Dark, who again took Huey Fury the distance. So I was impressed by Joshua. I mean, he fought obviously on the same bill as eight other heavyweights in a prize fighter. I don't see any of those eight other uh, heavyweights giving him, you know, an issue at this stage. He, he looked above all of them in terms of capability. Um, Dorian Dark, Hector Villa, probably slightly more decent than the guys he's been in against. So they'll show us just, you know, they'll show us more of how good he is at this stage but I was quite impressed by him there are a few people I read you know Glenn McCrory I think said that he he didn't look like he was carrying too much power he didn't look like there was too much snap in his punches but I feel that was a bit harsh I feel that he could have got him out of there in the first round but you know was patient was disciplined and you know waited tried to get a bit more experience and you know this guy was slightly durable he took some big shots from Josh here he'd been in six with Huey Fury, as I say. So I was I was quite impressed by Joshua. I thought it was a very good performance. Um, main things to take from it was the progression since his first fight. Nowhere near as stiff. Very disciplined. Good jab. Showed a bit of a killer instinct. Didn't just head hunt. You know, he used to work the body. I, I thought it was all around a very good uh, performance. 
looking forward to seeing him against a Villa and Kistia and a Villa and um, Darts for the end of the year. And I'm sure um, he'll start the new year five and zero. Um, hopefully, we could see him in against you know Michael Sprott, Matt Skelton, one of those guys in the new year. Get a, a decent name on his record and keep him moving forward and on towards British title level. But um, yeah, I, I was very impressed by Joshua. Um, please leave your thoughts and comments below. Uh, what were your thoughts on the fight? Do you agree with Glenn McCurry that there's a few bits that he needs to work on in terms of snapping his punches? Or do you agree with me that it was quite an impressive performance? How do you see his next fights going? Please leave your comments below. As I say, check, check back to the channel. Um, I'm going to put up a prize fighter review tomorrow. Probably quite an extended video reviewing the fights and also uh, you know, looking at the individuals involved and where they go from here. Uh, I'm going to do a video on David Price. Uh, I might also do a video on Ben Iliemi as well in the next day. Uh, I watched his fight on the ring, so I was quite impressed by him. David Price looks like he's signing for Sauerland. Um, you know, looks like he's got an interesting next few fights ahead of him as well. So uh, I'll do a video on them tomorrow. Please check back, uh, subscribe as well, and leave your comments and thoughts in the uh, section below. Thanks very much indeed.